What's up desktopers? In this video today, we feature one of Kuwait and Oxygen Gym's new super mass monster freaks. His name is Khalid Al-Kazam and he is massive and basically I'm going to be featuring pictures, what he's going to be doing in the future and all that sort of stuff and if he actually is a pro or not. All that and more guys coming up in this video. I hope you enjoy it. What's up, desktopers? Xavier Wills here for Desktop Bodybuilding, and we are back with another video. And today we're featuring Khalid Al Kazam. But before we get into that, I want to encourage you guys if you like these videos and like this content, please give me a thumbs up on this one. Also, subscribe and hit that notification bell button. That way, you'll be notified of every video that goes up for myself, Xavier Wills at Desktop Bodybuilding. So, we get daily bodybuilding videos, whether it's bodybuilding history, you know, stuff on Arnold Classic coming up, all that good sort of good stuff. Give that all when you subscribe and hit that notification bell button. So make sure you do that. Anyway, let's get into this video because Khalid Al-Kazam is a freak. As I said at the start of the video, he is massive. And I came across this guy on Instagram maybe about a month ago. And I thought, geez, he's huge. I've got to do a video on this guy because he is enormous. And no one really seems to know about him too much, at least where uh, I'm located in the world. But uh, yeah, I thought I've got to do a video. I didn't do it straight away. But then the owner of the limp actually reached out to me and said, I'll watch your videos. And so I talked to him and I actually asked him about uh, Khalid and he gave me some info. So let's go into that a little bit. So when I was actually, he sent me a few links to some videos and I watched this one initially and I was like, ah, Khalid's a baller. Like his house is outrageous. He's got a Rolls Royce. And then he goes up to his kitchen afterwards and starts cooking. He goes, oh, in my small kitchen. And it looks nowhere near as impressive as the rest of his house or especially his car. So I found it sort of funny to begin with, but that's besides the point. But I sort of found that amusing. But the dude is huge, as I mentioned. So he's 135 kilograms, which is about 300 pounds in his off season, which is currently. And his competition weight's 121 kilos, which I'm guessing... 265 pounds somewhere around there i'm not too sure so the dude is as i said massive maybe it's maybe it's 270 pounds i'm not sure but it's it's a big weight he's obviously huge he's 184 centimeters which converts to about six foot one maybe maybe slightly under that so he's obviously a taller guy as well and that's a funny thing i thought i thought taller guys in photos by themselves typically don't look as big as you know shorter guys do so i was like Wow, this dude's tall and he looks big by himself. So he must look like an ma absolute mass monster when he's on stage standing next to other guys. And the funny thing is about his physique as well, normally guys with big legs are sort of much, much heavier. Now his legs are probably his weaker point. So if he can bring that up, he's going to be a 330 pound guy, probably 340 pound guy in his off season potentially. So absolute mass monster. He is obviously, uh, you know, like I said, he trains at Oxygen Gym, but he actually is a part of the Camel Crew as well. As I said before, he's sponsored by Olymp Sports Nutrition. So um, they support him and that's how I actually found out about all this info. So shout out to those guys. And his uh, coach is actually Yusuf Al-Tabik. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly as well, but I actually haven't heard of Yusuf from out there in Oxygen Gym, but I sort of get the names confused a little bit. But what he's doing in 2020, because he plans to become pro this year. He's competing in Italy in March, which I assume is a pro qualifier. Then he's doing the London and the uh, owner of Olymp said in brackets, Mr. O. So I assume that means an amateur Mr. Olympia where he's hoping to get his pro card. So a lot in store for Khalid this year. And I hope to see this guy become pro. And I want you guys to let me know what you think of Khalid because I showed some old competition photos. They were from... I think about a year and a half ago, maybe longer, I'm not too sure, but they're older photos I found on Instagram. But do you think this guy can become pro and how do you think he'd do as a pro? Because he is absolutely huge, has a few little bit spots on his physique to work on, but everyone does. So let me know what you think in the comments, guys. It's much appreciated when you do. And also you guys, if you like this video, please hit that like button, uh, subscribe, hit that notification bell button as well, and you'll be notified of every video that goes up from myself, Xavier Wills at Desktop Bodybuilding. Now, shout out of the episode goes to Chris D, commenting on my YouTube videos and stuff. It's much appreciated, so thank you so much. And if you guys want a shout out as well, let me know in the comments. Also, just commenting in general, you'll probably get a shout out eventually as well on my channel and sharing my stuff out. So the more you share my stuff out, the more and comment and all that sort of stuff, the more likely I'm going to give you a shout out. So make sure you do that guys because I absolutely love it. I love you guys supporting my channel and from the bottom of my heart, it means so much. So for Xavier Wills, Desktop Bodybuilding, we are